Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to go into another one minute series. What the one minute series is, is where you can actually create something in just a minute or so. Alright, so today we're going to be working on some hairbrushes. And I'm going to show you different hairbrushes that you can make in about a minute each. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself some sticks. You can get like some skewers, some popsicle sticks, some skinny sticks, um, some coffee stirs, anything like that, okay? Then you want to trace your hairbrush onto a popsicle stick for the first one, okay? And we're going to go ahead and make this one here. And if you can see, it's got little bristles and everything. It's really great. Now, what you want to do is, I've already started this side, is you want to go ahead and just lightly go down a little bit and then go back. Go down down a little bit and then go back okay until you get this carved out as much as you want it to have for the handle be very careful not to cut yourself and you may want to wear like a finger protective um, like a thimble or something while you're doing it so you don't cut your thumb and don't ever force the blade if it's not going to go then it's not going to go Okay, and do the same thing there. All right, so now you have the bottom. I'm going to cut my top off using my 3M1 multi-cut tool. And then I'm going to cut the bottom. My blade is getting a little dull here. I'm going to have to replace it here soon. There we go. Usually it cuts like butter, but the blade, I've been using it since I bought it, so it's kind of getting dull. I have to definitely change it. All right, so now you want to go ahead and do the same exact thing to the bottom. Just take little bits. Now, if you have a sander, you can just sand this off. You don't even need to do that. But I'm showing you without a sander. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side, and I'll be right back. All right, so it should look like that. Now, if you're a girl and you have a sanding tool for your nails, you know, you can go ahead and use that to sand out that little edge in between the handle. Or you can use a regular sander. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do, you know, or you can just leave it like it is. It's up to you. All right, so once you have that sanded the way you want it, you can use your sanding tool or you can use your um, hand sandpaper and that's all you got to do and then you want to get yourself some velcro and you want to cut yourself a piece off of there all right and then you're going to stick it on your hairbrush now you have to decide how long you want your hairbrush to be And then you want to go on the back of it, trim it off. Don't get rid of that little piece there because you can still use that for another hairbrush. And then trim it off right there. Now, you don't want to let small children play with this because it can be potentially dangerous to them because these are small parts. But there is a hairbrush. All right? That's what that looks like. That's one type of hairbrush. Now... This one, I went ahead and did the same exact thing, only I took it on the sander and I sanded a little spot there because I wanted to put a little mirror on the back of it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut me out a piece of this contact paper. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it on here. And it's going to be a brush with a mirror attached to it. And this is just stainless steel contact paper that you get at your regular store. All right. So then there's two style brushes. You can do it either way. Just kind of press it down in there a little bit. Get it to stay. And then there you have a little fake mirror. All right. So there's two there. Now for the third one, this is a bamboo skewer. 
I went ahead and I took a thumbtack. Now you can use a tool that has like a drilling tool and you can do the same thing. You're gonna put it in there and do that. However, you wanna tip or cut the tip of this off on an angle so it's not a straight point because you want it to act as a drill bit. So just go in a little bit, pull it out, go in a little bit, pull it out so the dust comes out, all right? Because it's not a drill bit, it won't pull it back out. After you do that, then you wanna take a little piece of your um, piping wire, you know, the little fuzzy ones that you get at the craft store. You wanna cut it, put a teeny tiny bit of hot glue on the end of it or crazy glue and then stick it down in there. And there you have a round brush and then you can paint that. All right, then you also have, I'll show you this one, where you can do it with a smaller one. I like the smaller one, that's my preference. And I painted it to look like it's purple for girly colors. Okay, so then there's that. Okay, next one is you can take the other end of the skewer, you can paint it, and then you wanna go ahead and take a little bit of that off of there. You do the same exact thing with this as we did with that one over there. You just wanna go down a little bit and then shave it off. Down a little bit and shave it off. And you keep doing it until you get a little bit of that off of there. Then you want to take a piece of your wire again and you want to go ahead and bend it and then rebend it again. And then do that about three or four times. Okay, then you want to take your wire cutters and cut that off of there. And then I like to squeeze it to where it's more oval, but you can do whatever you want. And then flatten it back out. All right. And then you want to take a little bit of hot glue and put it right here on the end. Just a little bit. not too too much and then you want to take your hairbrush and you want to stick it right there and then there you have another hairbrush okay so there's a couple here's another one and they're just rounded airbrushes, different styles. You can sand this down a little bit if you want. In fact, I may do that just a tiny bit to kind of bring it down this way here. Like, and then just repaint it. Just kind of take this end and just go a little bit like that. I think it'll look better if you do that. It might look a lot better. It'll look more realistic. Be careful with your fingers. Do not cut your fingers. All right. Right, so I think that looks much better whittled down like that. I don't know about you, but I kind of like it better that way. Just kind of looks more realistic and to me like a hairbrush. All right, so I'm going to show you this little trick that I do. Um, this is another hairbrush I made. But they're so tiny, it's hard to hold that while you're painting it, right? So here's something that I like to do. I like to take my tweezers and... I clip them on somewhere and I take the clip and I clip that on there and I do that it holds it perfect okay so then just go ahead and paint this real quick give it a nice little coat and then we're back in business with this hairbrush and you can paint beforehand, um, but you want to make sure that you have it nice and coated. And then um, you don't want to whittle it down like I just did. I just didn't like how it looked. But you could do it either way. It's up to you. It's totally a preference. And um, I'm going to show you how to make that really cute pink one, too. 
All right. So the pink one I did, I did it the same exact way as I did the other one. All right. The only difference is, is I took, no, oh, that one's got something in it. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I don't have the thicker wood that I normally would use for this here. I have it all at my dad's house. But basically, you want to trace it on here like this, and then you want to whittle it out the same way, and the center will be round. And we're going to do it the same way that we did the other one. All right, keep doing that. All right, so when you have it whittled down to the shape that you want, then you want to sand it and sand it really, really good. Typically, you would use a fine grit. And the easiest way to get that in there is to just keep kind of going around like this until you have it the way that you want it. And it doesn't take very long. And I'm putting more pressure at the center point and at the top and then moving back down. until that middle gets nice and round. All right, so now to get that center, I wrap some sandpaper around the skewer, just like that. And I made myself like a little sand and drum that can be done on hand. Okay, and you just go like this right in there I'm going like that I'm not sure if you can see it when I'm holding it at the table that's what I'm doing just to kind of round out that one point just a little bit more than the rest of it so now it's getting narrower all right so it should look sort of like that now what you want to do is you want to decide if you want these kind of bristles or if you want these kind of bristles all right either one will work if you're going to use this kind, then you would go ahead and attach them the same exact way on there like that. And then cut it off. And then there you would have that little tiny hairbrush. Now this one's a little bit smaller than this because again, I didn't have the thicker wood, but it still worked out. This wood's just a smidge bit thicker. If you can see the difference, it's just a tiny bit. If I hold it up there like that, you can see. It's just like not even a 16th inch, but that 16th inch does make a little bit of a difference. So there's those two. There's that one. There's that one. There's this one with the mirror on the back. And then this one is done exactly the same way as those. It's just it's a little bit um, narrower at the end. And then here is that other brush that we just made a second ago. Now it's got that nice little contoured edge now that we've whittled that down. Then you've got the round curled brush. And then there's one more brush I want to show you. There's this one, okay? Just a little teeny tiny like little brush. And if you don't have the ability to do any of this or you don't feel confident in yourself that you can do it, you can go to the store and you can get these little teeny tiny mini clothespins. Okay? And then you take your little tool that you got here, the multi-cut tool. And then you want to go ahead and flip it over. And then you want to cut it right at that first little knot there. Okay? And then to give yourself a flat spot, you want to take this. And you want to go and you want to cut it right there. Be very careful. And it should cut like butter unless your blade is getting dull. Just like that. Okay. And then you take your little fuzzies that you have. And you can use black or brown, whichever you prefer. It's um, completely up to you what you decide. And nobody's going to judge you for it, I promise. And just kind of take this and bend it again. And that's all you got to do. Just bend it in place.
go around like maybe two times, three times, depending on how thick your fuzzies are. Put a little bit of hot glue right there. And then press it on there and then there you go. You'll have another little airbrush. Press it down and then there you are. All right, well, that's it for this one minute tutorial. Hopefully you liked it and you enjoyed it. And um, hopefully you'll be able to make some hairbrushes. All of these, if I wasn't doing the tutorial, would take me about, I don't know, maybe anywhere from 35 seconds to a minute to do. And, you know, you can do them too. They're very, very quick, very easy to do. Um, just be careful when you're using the knife cutting the wood because that can get a little bit dangerous. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want free templates and tutorials on furniture, just go ahead and go to my website, dollhousetutorials.com. I've got lots of printables there, including floors, backsplashes, um, printable miscellaneous things like computers and um, clocks, those kind of things too. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.